Center following breaking news from Wall Street. Stocks plummeted as the trade war between the U.S. and China escalates. The Dow fell more than 600 points. The Nasdaq plunged 269 points, its biggest drop of the year. This after China announced it would raise tariffs on approximately $60 billion worth of U.S. goods. Financial experts say a trade war will eventually have a big impact on what we buy. We're going to see prices go up in certain items. Uh, there's going to be prices that go up in things like automobiles, washers and dryers. You know, big ticket items, we'll see a price increase. Now, tech companies took the biggest hit today and would fare the worst in an extended trade battle. Now we are following some breaking news right now from New Haven, a religious community targeted by hate. Investigators now say a fire at a local mosque was intentionally set. And that's where we find Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland live in the Elm City for us tonight. Matt. No, Aaron and Dennis, this fire was set during the holy month of Ramadan. You can see some of the damage that was left over from yesterday's fire. Because it involves a house of worship, that triggered a large response, not only from New Haven and state police, but also the FBI and the ATF. It's this fine. Week. It's fine. We're all taking care of Mosque leaders tell us the imam and his family who live here at the Dionet Mosque of New Haven are all right after flames spread through their house of worship Sunday afternoon. Flames that someone set on purpose. We've detected that there is intent in this fire. This was intentionally set. Still shaken from the fire, members of the community showed up to meet with federal, state, and local investigators, but did not want to comment. But off camera, they tell us they started working on the mosque 10 years ago, and that while they were still renovating it, they were getting close to finishing it. Now, with the mosque off limits, they have to find a new place for their prayer services as the incident shifts from a fire emergency to a criminal investigation. If you do know any information, however, Minimal you think it might be, please come forward with that information. It could absolutely be valuable to the investigation. We're told the fire started on the first floor near the entrance, with flames eventually spreading to the second floor. Firefighters worked to save not only the building, but also religious artifacts inside. Stopping by to offer his support, Governor Ned Lamont said attacking someone for their beliefs is especially hateful. The one thing I find hopeful, as I heard from the imam, is that other houses of worship, churches and synagogues have stepped forward and said, we want to help. And what I heard here from uh, the folks at this mosque is they welcome the help, but they want to worship right here in this place. And we're going to do everything we can to make that possible. Now, the police and the fire chief tell us that they are reaching out to other religious communities to make sure people feel safe, saying it could be a mosque today, but a church or a synagogue some other time. Now, coming up tonight at 6, we're going to hear from a neighbor who said uh, that when he saw this fire, one of his first thoughts was fearing that they were being targeted because of their faith. We'll have that part of the story coming tonight at 6, along with uh, some rewards that police are asking for, re recommending and offering to hopefully find whoever did this. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.